Sorry, it's my bad. My arms are getting kind of tired after this. The 40th take. 38th? Uh, What's not working, Albert? Oh, gee, I don't know. The 38th time watching Jeff try to pretend to be in love with a woman without getting past his gayness. That's really offensive. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I, that's, that's how I see it, so... Maybe it's a sappy dialogue. Ryan! Okay, so here's what I'm... Yeah, thinking. shut up. Okay. I want you to read Jeff's dialogue to Laura. What? What? What do I... What do I mean? Why do I need to do it? Because I want to hear the words coming out of a heterosexual's mouth. No offense, Jeff. Offense taken, but whatever. Whatever. It's just, you know, I'm not an actor, Albert. I just, like... I can barely talk to a woman and ask her out without like forming a rash of some kind and I, yeah, yeah, that's embarrassing. I don't care about your rash, just read the lines. Okay. Did you need the line or? Oh, no, I, I've got it. Oh, just okay. All right. I'm warming up. Oh. You are the love of my life from the moment that I first met you. Uh, oh, I, uh, the phrase meant to be really wasn't enough to describe Oh God, it's her. I, I, I got I gotta take five. Wait, Albert, we don't have time for you to... Damn it. And I love you. That's the line. Yeah, she had a great resume, really good attitude. Definitely the best candidate for the job. But uh, hire the girl with the shorter skirt. Let me ask you something. Is it just like the normal thing to do to ignore writers? I mean, I feel invisible around here. I'm like Casper, but he had a better, he could fly. I'm gonna call you back. Two things, number one, Casper doesn't really fly. It's more of like a floating motion that he does. Number two, you're not ignored at all. All the cast members love talking to you. They love talking to me because they hate talking to Albert. I mean, he's like one of the worst directors. He's such a jerk to everybody and Casper did fly. The way he like zips around the mansion and like goes to the graveyard, goes to the town. You, that's not floating. You can't float around town. You can't float fast like that. There's no fast floaters. Floaters don't go fast. Floaters don't go fast. You can't float fast at all. No, I've never seen someone get into the water and say I'm gonna float and they just take off. What if it's in like the roaring rapids? All right, my point is you're not Casper, although you could probably use a tan. And you're really honestly just upset that your script's being butchered over there. Well, I don't understand why like you can't step in and say something. Me? Step in for what? Yeah, step in and say something. I don't know, anything really, just they've taken out everything. Yeah, I really don't have that kind of power. You know, we've done a couple of projects together, known each other a while. I have no idea what it is you actually do. I find people to give me money to make your stories into movies, all right? That way I stay employed and all I have to do is keep you making those scripts. I heard you say the word me a lot in that. I like this take and take relationship you've built. Yeah, and it's worked great for years. So uh, why are you gonna change it now? Good? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm glad. Whoa there, Slim Kardashian. You want to dance? Okay, first of all, I would never dance with you. Second of all, what are you doing listening to music right now? You're supposed to be listening to the sounds of the movie, not the sounds of rap music. It's techno. Okay, I don't give a crap what kind of music it is, okay? What do you think I want? To dance? I want to take that boom pole and shove it. You guess where. Could we find our director, please? I need someone for action. Here I am. What? You said you needed someone for action, so I was kind of implying and I was like, oh, I'll jump in and make, it's a bad joke. And inappropriate, I'm sorry. You know what, don't be. Today's one of those awful days where you just wonder if you should quit and go get married or something. Well, speaking of marriage, what are your thoughts on dating people in the film industry? 
Yeah, never do that. Okay, clear that out. I'm sorry, Ryan. You probably really like someone and I just kind of crushed it for you. Who is it? Maybe I can get her phone number. I bet it's that blonde makeup girl, isn't it? No, 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 I mean, What it's... is it with men in blondes? Look, no, it's not... Well, actually, wait, I thought the makeup girl was a brunette. Well, yeah, but we added another one because of all the background extras yesterday. And she's blonde? Yes. Wait, what's her name? I don't remember the blonde or the brunette. I remember her. Because I'm think, trying to think of the crew. And her blonde in the makeup girl. I mean, not that I'm looking for a blonde. You know, I'm not opposed to blondes either. I'm really... I mean, I'm not opposed to any woman based on their race or religion or hair color. No, you're a regular civil rights advocate, aren't you? Well, I don't like to discriminate. And anyway, I wasn't even talking about me. Oh, then who? Do I look beautiful? Jeff. <sighs> Has anyone seen our freaking director? Hey Jeff, let me ask you something. Would you ever date anyone in the film industry? Oh, let me think about that. Is that someone Hugh Jackman? If so, yes. Never mind. I think Ryan just asked me on a date. Uh, maybe you're right. Then who's he talking about? Someone else around here? Has to be me. I'm so good looking. Right? 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. Hey, oh, hi, Ryan. Um, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just counting all the bottled water on the table. Oh. What's wrong? One, two, three, four, five. So, why is Shelly counting water bottles? I don't know. She's an intern. I don't pay her. Hey, Shelly, can I get a water? Sure thing, Charlie. Thank you. Oh. If I just gave you one, that brings my count to... One, two, three, four, five... I don't know where we found her. But didn't you hire her? No, I hired somebody to do the hiring for me. You know, I don't know what anyone does around here. What do you do? What do you mean, what do I do? I wrote the script. I'm the reason everyone's here. Yeah, wrote. Wrote, past tense. If you left right now, nobody would notice. Hey. That was weird. But, okay, never mind. I gotta tell you something. Okay, so, earlier, I mentioned Laura about dating people in the film industry. Oh. Just as. You probably shouldn't date people in the industry. Okay, why do people keep saying that? Okay, that's aside the point. The fact is that. Because I brought that up, she thought I was talking about me, but I didn't want her to know I was talking about me because I like her, and so I, want, I, I blamed Jeff. I said Jeff was the one asking. Why do I care? Well, I just, you know, I need you to back me up. You know, in case it gets, like, brought up, and that way you're in on the lie. Why would this be brought up? Well, I mean, like, if... Okay, I guess it really would never really come up, so I guess you don't. I, I didn't need to tell you that. This was a complete waste of my time? <sighs> Jeff could use that. A complete waste of time? No. He needs to have uh, like the same romantic experience I've had. Because, I mean, the whole movie and the character he's playing is based off of me. I mean, he's, it's about my love life. Is that why it's so short? <laughs> All right. Good one. It's pretty quick on that one. Yeah, very good. But anyway, what I was saying, I mean, Jeff just needs to be in love with someone he's working with. That's what it is. He really needs a crush like me. I mean, it's just gonna make the movie so much better if he can, like, relate to what I actually went through. Have you guys uh, seen Albert? No, we were just talking about Ryan's crush. Oh, so you were talking about you. He likes that blonde makeup girl, right? There's a blonde makeup girl? <sighs> Who's the crush? We weren't talking about a crush. We were just talking about, um, Casper, whether he floats or flies. Well, he's a ghost. He floats. Everyone knows that. What? Told you. Shelly, does Casper fly or float? <gasps> Is he here now? All right, people. Let's get back to making magic. Okay, listen up. It's official. I have a crush. Oh my gosh, I love Orange Crush. Fruit and soda? 
should never mix healthy with unhealthy. Unless, of course, it's like an alcoholic beverage. No, no, enough of the soda talk. I have a romantic crush. And like Ryan, I too am in love with someone I work with. And I can prove that I'm the best actor for this part. Jeff, what are you doing? Diet.